Hello, everybody. This is Dee. Hello, 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 hello. Time to go through what I spent last month. If this sounds like something you would like to watch me do, please stay tuned. So I spent a good amount of money last uh, week, but I didn't spend as much as I thought I would, would. Let's move these out of the way. I had... Um, a no spend, actually I have these backwards. My no spend day was the seventh. That's okay. It's, I had a no spend day in there. And before my friend, before I picked her up at the airport, I went and did some shopping. And then two twenty thirty four. I bought a lot of clothes. That's why that's so much. And on the eighth, sixty six sixty three. On the ninth, thirty four ninety five. I'm going to go through with you what those are as I show you or, or unstuff my envelopes. I had a no spend day on both the 10th and 11th, getting all caught up from my chores after we played and played and played. And then today is the 12th, I just went and shopped and spent $71.90. And that is what I did so far for the week of the 6th through the 12th. I shouldn't say so far, that's it. I'm not spending any more money. I have nothing else I need to get. Let's start with my sinking funds binder because there's only one thing in it and actually it's a refund. So I'm going to go back to my spents. Sorry, let's put this up where you can see it. And I'm going to grab a $50 bill out because I'm going to have a credit and I'm going to put that into tech or electronics because I did get that $50 credit from Best Buy for my iPad. It went on sale like 10 days later, and Best Buy has a 30-day price guarantee. And so I just went online, actually with their little chat bot, and she gave me the refund. She told me it was, first it wasn't, el it wasn't eligible because it was part of a package because I bought the pen at the same time, I guess, but I didn't get a discount because of a package. I don't know, but she let me do it. So $50 off my iPad. That is really nice. 51, 50, 70, 82, and 84. Cause you know, $50 off is $50 off. iPads are no longer cheap, especially when you want to get the, the big 256 gig ones. So that is all for my sinking funds binder. I didn't spend out of that wasn't that type of week where I was planning for trips and that kind of thing. This is the binder I spent out of. Let's get the money that I had previously spent. <laughs> it's all wrinkled up. I just put this out so that I can make change out of my envelopes if I need to. And let's start with food and eat out. I made it, y'all. I didn't go over. On my food, barely. I spent $17.63, so I'll round up to 18. And I just did, I needed like some soda and that type of thing. I did have, so let's take the 17 out. Let's just do this. 20, and take the two and the one. So 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, I should have took 18 out. Okay, sorry. 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17. All right. I did have one thing that if I would have taken it out of here, it would have put me over budget by $1. And that was just, I debated because my friend that came to town, both of my friends didn't end up coming to town. Um, one of them uh, was sick and so she didn't come. But the other friend that came to town, she is such a really good disciplined eater. And one of the things she enjoys when uh, doing with me is being bad. So I got her some of her favorite chocolates and they are not cheap. And I debated whether I was going to take those out of my groceries or not. But actually, I would not have bought those, and they're not even something that I'll eat. I'm not a huge chocolate fan. It'll get eaten available. Uh, or, I'm sorry, eventually. But I decided to take that out of gifts because I actually did buy those just for her. And she really, really enjoyed them, as I knew she would. So miscellaneous, I did spend $27 on. And... I only have 26.81. I wonder what I'm putting in here. 
you know what? I am going to do this. I am going to do $26.81 minus $12. I'm going to do just the $12 out of here. So that's gone. And then I still need $14.81. And I'm going to just take that out of Life Happens or my carryover. I'm going to just transfer that into miscellaneous because this is exactly what it's for. The only reason I spent that extra money was because my friend was in town and I spent money I would not have normally have spent. And that's exactly why I started this fund, so I should use it for that when it's there. One, two, 53, 50, 70, and one. The reason I'm not taking it directly out of there and just paying that, the reason I'm going to uh, transfer it into the miscellaneous fund is because I use these funds and trackers to keep a monthly tally on how much I spend each month in these categories. So then I'm going to deposit this 15 and then I'm going to withdraw. And I'll put from carryover or life happens. All right, so that should 27, yep. Anyhow, so like I said, the only reason I was over in the miscellaneous is simply because we did stuff I would not usually be doing. And that was why I started that fund. Next, I have travel. And travel is, it's got $17 in it. And I am going to, because I am negative in here, and that is fine. Um, I reserved a campsite, and the campsite's actually for next week. So, you know, I could actually put that expense in next week, but that's fine. So I'm just going to go negative 13 on that because I'm stuffing it tomorrow, and it's going to bring it back up. So on spending, <laughs> I don't know how I don't know how I manage that. I had 45 in here and I spent 45. Spent every penny of it. That's fine, that's what it's for. I'll be putting more in there tomorrow. Okay. Now, the biggest areas that I spent were in these carryover items and that's fine because I carry them over so they have big balances. I will not be going negative on these. In gas, I spent $68. My total of 179 left. Let me see. Let's just go 68. Take that 100 out. 68, 70, 80, and 100. Younger folks won't even be able to catch what I just did right there. Older folks will know. 1, 20, 40, 50, 65, 72, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. Had to buy two tanks of gas and my friend bought a tank of gas. That's how much running around we did. Yay! So much fun. Clothes. Here's my big one. $187 on clothes. But I could not be happier. I actually got two, two pair of walking shoes for $100, which is like totally unheard of now. But Penny's had their brand on sale. And it's a brand that I know my feet like and so that was super exciting and then I got a pair of shorts and two tops and a pair of jeans so that's a lot for $187 I'm super happy let me see 150 70 85 86 87 187 out of there I decided to go through like a month ago, one, twenty, two, and three is what I have left, and get through or get rid of shirts and stuff that I have with like little holes and stuff in them or stains. And that was not the smartest thing to do because it left me without hardly any shirts. And it's not because I'm too cheap to buy them, I just have had no luck finding stuff that I like. Okay, gifts this is where I took the money out for the chocolate from my friend. Get a new tracker here. 
And we started out with 402. Three eighty-three will be left. I just did a consolidation, so I guess I consolidated this a little bit too tight. So nineteen, that's what I have. Nineteen, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, and one hundred. That is why I put that money out there, like I said, so I can make change. So now I should have three hundred and eighty-three dollars left. Shove that down there where I keep my trackers. One, two, three, 50, 70, 80, one, two, and three. 383. All right, and the carryover, I did that separately by loaning and nothing in the bills buffer. So, oops, my spent. And 395 should be what I have in here. I have more than that. Oh, wait a minute, 395 plus this. 19066 plus 393.82. 583 should be what I have in here for the last two weeks. 1, 2, 3, 50, 70, 90, 410, 430, 450, 60, 70, 80, 95, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 70, and 1. I have $12 off. Am I $12 off? It looks like it. Hmm, I'll have to figure out. Oh, I'm actually $13 off with rounding, and it's because I'm negative in that one envelope. I will even that back up when I stuff that and go positive. Phew, and lesson learned on five-week months, I'm going to stuff a little bit extra the first week and a little bit less the last week because that will keep me from running out of money. I hope you enjoy this type of content. I know that I really enjoy the Reconcile videos. I like seeing what other people are spending. My favorite part of this community is that we talk about these things with one another. Walk up to your neighbor and ask them how much money and how do they spend it. They're not going to tell you and we can't learn from each other. We can't be motivated by one another if we don't talk about it. If you like this kind of content, if you like my other content, please like, leave a comment. I don't get very many comments. I have some super regular people, you know who you are, that leave comments and I really, really appreciate it. But I would like comments just to, let's have some conversations about some things. And please subscribe if you are so inclined. Have a great week, everybody, and you know I'm going to tell you to take a walk. Bye.